Hi guys, welcome back. This is Maths 3000. Today I'm going to show you how to work out compound interest. So the best way to do it is to follow the four steps in the red box here. So the first step is to add the interest rate to 100. Step two, we divide by 100 to give the decimal multiplier. Step three, we get the money and we times this by the decimal multiplier and we put the amount of years as a power on the decimal multiplier and then the final step is to subtract this answer from the original amount invested and that will just leave you with the interest that you've earned after the amount of years okay so let's have a look at the example here so we've got £4,000 is invested in a bank account, earning 2% compound interest per year. Work out the amount of interest earned over three years. So first step then is to add the interest rate to 100. So we go 100, add our interest rate, which is 2%. So that gives us 102%. So we then divide this answer by 100. So that will give you 1.02. So this is the decimal multiplier. So we're now on to step three. So we get the money which we invest in, which is £4,000. And we multiply this by the decimal multiplier. And then since we're investing the money over three years, we put a power 3 on the 1.02 so it's 1.02 cubed so type this in on your calculator and that will give an answer of 4,244 pound and 83p so this is the value of the investment over the three years but our question asked is work out the amount of interest earned over three years not the value of the investment so we now have to go into step four and we need to take the four thousand pound off the four thousand two hundred forty four pound and eighty three p so step four then is four two four four point eight three take away four thousand so we get an answer of two hundred and forty four pounds eighty three pence. So this is the amount of interest that we've earned over the three years. OK, so another thing as well is only do this method if the question says compound interest. If it's a simple interest, you need to do another method, which I've also done a video for. So hope you found this use video useful then guys if you did make sure you like and subscribe to my channel see you next time